My favorite one is the skeleton wild oak in stainless steel and in rose gold. The reason why is that watch is a major success, but it was not meant to be. In other words, I didn't ask to the design team to work for it. The design team didn't work on it. The product committee didn't work on it. It's our own watchmakers who did this on their own, okay, and came to us one day and said, hey boss, do you like it? Nobody knew that they were working on it. So they, they did this at their own free time. So I love that because that emphasizes the spirit of independence of the company and the fact that we have a lot of talents okay, in the company and it's not always the people that we're expecting to deliver a great new idea that we get it from. So that's why. Ah, but we've improved everything. First of all, we've increased the size. So now we're on 41 millimeter. There was no 52 weeks indicator on the one before. There was no astronomical moon. It was a normal moon, now it's an astronomical moon. And even we've enlarged the subdials for more readability. So it's a much better product than the one before. Everything has been improved. It's not a matter of difficult moment. It's sometimes we can struggle through a process of development, but we are flooded with ideas by our research and development team on a regular basis. So it's not a lack of ideas or suggestions. It's much more, it's much more the, through the process of development, sometimes there is an issue where we cannot get exactly a specific part, and in which case it makes it complicated and much longer. But beside that, we have a lot of creative people in the company, so we normally find solutions to the problems. In 2010-2011, uh, we were selling only 20% of ladies' watches. Now we are at 30%. So we've improved okay, the communication also towards women and we expect this to keep growing. Where is it gonna go? We don't know. But we see a major improvement into our ladies segment, and we see more and more women, young women actually, coming to the brand. We are actually developing seven mechanisms as we speak. Seven new mechanisms. Okay, so I think we're gonna get a lot of uh, good surprises for our clients for a long time. I mean, I always say during the interviews that the best is yet to come. We haven't shown yet the full power of Audemars Piguet. So when I see you next year, you will, you will see more. I'm involved, um, I wouldn't say a lot, because it's not my world, but I'm involved in guidance, if you want, where I say these are the fields where I would like to see you guys working. So, and in terms of product, when it touches product, I'm involved with everything, except the skeleton right oak. very simple, we grew sales in Asia in 2015. We didn't go down. Hong Kong went down a little bit, but just a little bit, like two, three percent, so nothing. But Japan went up big, Korea went up, Southeast Asia went up big, China went down a little bit, almost nothing. So overall, Asia remained extremely stable in 2015. So we got good hopes for 2016. We know it's going to be a complicated year for business. Every news we hear left and right are not good news, okay? But we have to sell only 40,000 watches in the world. The planet has got 7 billion people. So if we cannot find 40,000 people, we might have an issue. But I don't think we will.
Korean market has been for us a very quick evolving market for the last three, four years. First of all, we have a strong partner with Style Leader, who has been doing a fantastic job. And what we are doing now is really bringing the brand to the next level. At one point, we had retailers that didn't really understand the brand or didn't want to know the brand. Now we've got more, more retailers that want to carry out the Marpigue in Korea. And I do believe that Korea could grow by 50%. Not next year, not in one year, but the potential for Korea is at least 50% more compared to what it is today. So we've got great hopes for the Korean market. A huge, and I mean, don't forget, when I joined Audemars Piguet, I was 30 years old. Okay, so I'm now 51 years old. So because of that thing, you don't look at life the same way either. But the brand has evolved a lot. When I joined Audemars Piguet in 1994, we were only 250 people. Now we're 1,500 people. 1,500. So it's not the same company. A lot of people have gone, but we still have a lot of people that I knew when I was 30 years old. So it's, it's I would say, We've grown a lot, it's not the same company, but we remain to keep the company very human. Where people know each other, people like to see each other from the different groups, from marketing to watchmakers, to R&D people, to finance, to legal. We have a great vibe right now in, in, in the company and uh, it's a big family. I think that the first thing, we don't take any successes for granted. Meaning, even if we launch something very exceptional, the following second, we think about what comes next. So we don't just say, okay, we've been doing something good, now we can sleep for two or, two or three years. No, we always question what could come next. So basically, in, if I had to summarize this in few words, it would be, we never stand still. And because of that, the end consumer, whether they are 16 years old or 75 years old, look at it and say, I want to be a part of that because I'm, this, I'm, I'm the same thing. I act this way, I think that way, and that brand talks to me because of that. We've had a lot of successes in the history of the company, and people love the fact that they look at Audemars Piguet and say, it's a winning brand. We want to be a part of that. Every watch has a story no matter what, but I've got, I've got roughly 40 to 50 vintage watches and uh, 40 to 50 new watches. Because right now I'm wearing the perpetual calendar because that's a watch I love. When the skeleton will come out, I will buy the skeleton and wear the skeleton. Social media is a new language like Korean would be, or Chinese, or Russian, or Portuguese, you learn a new language. And that language from, came from the young generation. I've got a 20 years old daughter, she doesn't speak the same language, even when we speak French, okay? So we have to adapt ourselves to that new way of communication. The young generation don't use the regular media anymore as much as I was doing it. So we have to adapt. So we're gonna, but nobody has broken the code yet when you know that if you do this, this and that, it's gonna work. We are all learning how to get access to these other people, communicate with them, bringing them to our, to our brand, and we learn every day. So we are investing a lot of money, obviously, and a lot of time to learn. Everybody's learning. So we'll try to learn a little bit faster than the others. Be ready, because we are not uh, done surprising you and uh, we will be back next year and the year after and the year after we have more novelties more innovation more edgy choices on collections but hopefully uh, we're going to keep doing what we do which means a good job